Pembroke Welsh Corgi The Pembroke Welsh Corgi, slash Kri slash, Welsh for Dwarf Dog, is a cattle herding dog breed which originated in Pembrokeshire, Wales. It is one of two breeds known as a Welsh Corgi. The other is the Cardigan Welsh Corgi, and both descend from the line of northern Spitz-type dogs, such as the Siberian Husky. Another theory is that Pembrokes are descended from the Swedish Valhuns, which were crossed with the local Welsh herding dogs. The Pembroke Welsh Corgi is the younger of the two Corgi breeds and is a separate and distinct breed from the Cardigan. The Corgi is one of the smallest dogs in the herding group. Pembroke Welsh Corgis are famous as the preferred breed of Queen Elizabeth II, who has owned more than 30 during her reign. Although these dogs have been favored by British royalty for more than 70 years, among the British public they have recently fallen into decline in terms of popularity and demand. However, they remain very popular in the United States, where cities such as New York, Boston, and Los Angeles hold annual corgi meetups, in which hundreds of dogs and their owners congregate to spend the day. The Pembroke Welsh Corgi has been ranked 11th in Stanley Corn's The Intelligence of Dogs, which states that it is considered an excellent working dog. According to the American Kennel Club, Pembroke Welsh Corgis were ranked 20th most popular breed of dog in 2015. Description Appearance the Pembroke Welsh Corgi sheds extensively, often daily, with coat blowouts often twice a year. The Pembroke Welsh Corgi has erect ears which are in proportion to the equilateral triangle of the head. The ears should also be firm, medium in size, and tapered slightly to a rounded point. The head should be foxy in shape and appearance. Pembroke Welsh Corgis differ from the Cardigan Welsh Corgi by being shorter in length, having smaller ears, and being slightly straighter of leg. The Pembroke Welsh Corgi has a fairy saddle, somewhat lighter markings on each side of the withers caused by changes in the thickness, length, and direction of hair growth. The Pembroke Welsh Corgi sheds mostly in the spring and autumn and may shed annually, with intact females shedding during heat. Dot. Breed faults exist, some which may acknowledge genetic health conditions such as fluffies which are corgis with very long coats, and bluas, which have a dilute color, red coats present with a bluish cast. While some outlying Pembroke Welsh Corgis are born with their tail naturally short or missing, the majority often have their tails docked between two to five days old due to historical tradition or in order to conform to the breed standard. Artificial docking was needed for the dog to do its job as a herding dog in the United Kingdom. A non-herding, companion dog was considered a luxury under tax law, and attracted a tax, so to demonstrate that their dogs were herding dogs, owners had to ensure the dogs had docked or bobbed tails. The Kennel Club the United Kennel Club, and the FCI allow intact tails in confirmation shows. The AKC standard states tails should be docked no longer than 2 inches, 5 centimeters. In many countries, docking has been deemed illegal. Temperament Pembroke Welsh Corgis are very affectionate, love to be involved in the family, and tend to follow wherever their owners go. They have a great desire to please their owners, thus making them eager to learn and train. The dogs are easy to train and are ranked as the 11th most intelligent dog in Stanley Corns The Intelligence of Dogs. Besides herding, they also function as watchdogs due to their alertness and tendency to bark only as needed. Most Pembrokes will seek the attention of everyone they meet and behave well around children and other pets. It is important to socialize this breed with other animals, adults, and children when they are very young to avoid any antisocial behavior or aggression later in life. Due to their herding instinct, they love to chase anything that moves, so it is best to keep them inside fenced areas. The herding instinct will also cause some younger Pembrokes to nip at their owner's ankles. Health Pembrokes have an average life expectancy of 12 to 15 years. Pembroke Welsh Corgis are achondroplastic, meaning they are a true dwarf breed. As such, their stature and build can lead to certain non-inherited health conditions, but genetic issues should also be considered. Dot commonly. Pembrokes can suffer from monorchidism, von Willebrand's disease, hip dysplasia, degenerative myelopathy, DM, and inherited eye problems such as progressive retinal atrophy. Genetic testing is available for Pembroke Welsh Corgis to avoid these issues and enhance the genetic health pool. Pembrokes are also prone to obesity given a robust appetite, characteristic of herding group breeds. History The Pembroke Welsh Corgi lineage has been traced back as far as 1107 AD. It is said that Flemish weavers brought the dogs with them as they traveled to reside in Wales. Pembrokes and Cardigans first appeared together in 1925 when they were shown under the rules of the Kennel Club in Britain. The Corgi Club was founded in December 1925 in Carmarthen, 
Carmarthenshire. It is reported that the local members favoured the Pembroke breed, so a club for cardigan enthusiasts was founded a year or so later. Both groups have worked hard to ensure the appearance and type of breed are standardized through careful selective breeding. Pembrokes and cardigans were officially recognized by the Kennel Club in 1928 and were initially categorized together under the single heading of Welsh Corgis, before the two breeds were recognized as separate and distinct in 1934. Pembroke Welsh Corgis are becoming more popular in the United States and ranked 20th, 24th, in American Kennel Club registrations, as of 2015. 2012. However, corgis are now listed as a vulnerable breed in the United Kingdom, the decline has been said to be due to a 2007 ban on tail docking, the practice of cutting off the animal's tail, in the UK, as well as the lack of breeders in the UK in 2009, the corgi was added to the kennel clubs at watch list of British breeds when annual registrations numbered between 300 and 450. In 2014, the breed was put on the club's vulnerable native breeds list when registrations dropped under 300. In 2018, the breed came off the at-risk list with 456 puppies registered in December 2017. The Kennel Club has credited the renewed interest in the breed to the popular Netflix television series, The Crown. Activities Pembroke Welsh Corgis can compete in dog agility trials, obedience, showmanship, flyball, tracking, and herding events. Herding instincts and trainability can be measured at non-competitive herding tests. Queen Elizabeth's Corgis At a young age, the Queen's passion for this breed started when her father, King George VI, brought home their first royal corgi who was later named Dookie. The Queen ceased breeding corgis around 2012 so as not to leave any behind after she dies, her last corgi, Willow, died April 18, 2018, Willow, died April 18, 